And now, it is time for some more Dream Daddy. So, let's close this. We just came back. We just came back from the coffee shop, so we've met Brian and we've met Matt because we got to the, the dog park. We got to meet the cargo, and so we met Brian and we've met Matt now. But for anybody who doesn't know, the vote has chosen Damien. Damien is our main target for this game, so we're going to be playing it serious. Yes, we started over. We started from the beginning because I wanted to have a full playthrough for story days. Because not everybody came for the um, feature stream, right? So I want to do I want to do a full playthrough. Pure Damien goodness, yes, yes, is a good time. And if you want to have a voice on who ends up being a romantic interest for romantic interest games like this and Dragon Age and all of the things. Uh, you can catch it over on the subscriber chat, over on the Discord. So if e either you support the, the Patreon or you are a subscriber here on Twitch, you'll have access to those those polls when they come up. So, there you go. <sighs> I get back to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer-dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello? A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi. That I'm Taylor. That's what my name is. Oh. I saw the moving van, and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted to let you know that she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Yay! Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come back! And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, they've have to be something wrong with you if you try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, uh, um... I meant, don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I have met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She died. Oh, um, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Oh, wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love if you'd come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. And four kids is perfectly normal amount of children to have. <laughs> oh, I, how are they all so awkward? We shake hands to seal the deal. Yeah. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. 
You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. Yeah. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? <sighs> They're gone. I'm sorry. Hey. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? Oh. Uh, I guess it makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. We're going to be the best neighbors in the whole cul-de-sac. We're going to kick all of the other neighbors' butts. With kindness! Amanda and I step outside. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. I'd hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Hey, guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to, uh, return this nice plate. And thank you for the cookies. Geez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. Except for the dead eyes! Terrifying. Hey. They were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. I chuckled nervously. Mm. Well, okay, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach the house. Oh. I need something to get off my mind my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. You've been awake for what? Three hours? And that is three hours too many. A mood. A whole mood. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Taylor! Bro! I turn around and I am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Bro! Bro! Holy... Wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you don't rem probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Aw, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrists and waves it around. River get, gurgles happily. And and they were roommates. Yes, exactly, Bugwitch. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding! Amanda and I moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. <laughs> she actually still goes by Smashley. And, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro? Right? Keg Stand Craig is a father of three. Mm. Keg Stand Craig? 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. It's that thing where you do a headstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. <laughs> right. He was very good at it. Ha, ah, bro. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. Yes, this is the gym dad. Craig is the gym dad of the game. I cannot hear roommates without doing that. I mean, fair. It is a meme for a reason. Did someone say twin? Yes, nerd boy. Craig apparently has both this lovely little girl and twins. Uh, Joseph has twins as well, who we actually got to meet. On January 1st, when I promised myself I'm going on a jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back to it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Great! Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys! Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I am reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. The one time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner... Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. Yeah. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Oh. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we'd better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Also a mood. <laughs> this, this is me. This person is me. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Aw, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Yeah. Of course. Are you gonna be okay on your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yeah. A dog! Yeah. Forget art school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Yeah. Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost you to give up, for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Yeah. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college... Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Right. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. Mm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Mm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Mm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to have offered you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I saw it coming. I know I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. 
I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other students are going to want to snatch you up. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push on her this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R. and Emma P. are sleeping over tonight. So, you need me out of the way because I am painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place all to yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Gotta attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. I feel like the most, like, expected answer here, the most believable answer is gonna be I gotta attend the union meeting. Also, it's likely to be a joke. Because, you know, it's a dad game. Boss Ben's been riding us for rolls too hard. It's time for us to rise up for our rights. Dad, you're not even going to invite me to the riot? I'm sorry, sweetie. It's an honest day's work for an honest day's riot. Cleaning gold net for the day. Now getting ready to go and get supplies for tacos tonight. Ooh, very nice. An excellent choice, Apollo. Well done. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go to bed, go out and watch the game. Uh, go to bed. I'm wiped. Have fun with the Emmas. We'll try to keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. And don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, Pops. Shave with the grain is your dad tip there. Shave with the grain. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, early bird. Still want to work out? This is Craig, by the way. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. Whoops, must have winked back out. I checked my phone again. Hey, bud, still want to get your swole on? I am ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. Wait, no Robert interaction, huh? Yes, we did miss the Robert interaction there. Damien and only Damien. <laughs> yes. Only Daddy Strahd. <laughs> oh. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out, but it is Craig. I do want to catch up. Uh, let's go hang out with Craig. That'll be a fun time. Hey, man, I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in 20. Go back to sleep. Nerd Boy says only Strahd game. No other interactions, only Strahd. After a few seconds, another text comes in. Sure thing. Meet me at the gym. I love that it's capitalized. Meet me at the gym. I know that this is... Because I'm running stream safe mode. So I don't have, like, copywritten songs and stuff in here. Um, but I wonder if the text changes. Depending on the mode that I'm playing in. Because that, that makes me laugh. I stretch and my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket and, hey, wait, I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throw on the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate, and head out. The neighborhood is quiet and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig standing out front, stretching. Of course, he spots me and waves enthusiastically. Hey, bro! Good morning! Hey, good to see you, man. 
I definitely am not as pumped as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. You ready to kick some butt? Gotta stay posy, dude. With your help, I am. Help! I like, I like help the best here, I think. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Yeah. Help! Especially because we definitely chose the, like, round body model for, for Greyfort. So, let's, let's go with help. This is it. This is how I die. Ah, it'll be all right, dude. We'll ease you into it. Oh, we actually got the gray clouds. We made Craig sad. With your muscly arms. He does have the muscly arms. Yeah, poor Craig did not like that. No, Belinda, why did you do this? Because Nerd Boy says Strahd and only Strahd. We head into the gym and I am immediately intimidated. All of these people look like they could break me in half. And it seems like Craig is friends with all of them? Oh. He high fives and finger guns all of the cool jocks in the room. They look like they could and would steal my lunch money to spend on protein shakes. Mm -hmm. Come on, bud. Let's warm up. We head over to the treadmills and start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This is a decent place to be. Walking. So, I know we are on treadmills. Yes. And those over there are ellipticals. Very good. What is all of this other stuff? Craig laughs. Hey. They might look a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. I watch as a dude in a muscle tee flexes a muscle that I didn't even know existed on a machine I think was once used to process grain into flour. What is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself? That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Training to crush people's skulls with his thighs, using a medieval torture device, Praying to some sort of pain god. Crush people's skulls. He's... He's trying to make his thighs so strong that he can crush people's skulls with them? Bro. Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I work out. <laughs> oh no, Craig is turning up the speed. I'd better do the same. How, uh... How long have you been doing the buff thing? Couple years. And what do you do when you're not dadding or working or buffing? Oh, I coach my twin softball team. That still counts as both dadding and buffing. Uh, I keep bu busy. What do you do for fun? I love learning. I try to live my life as close to Jimmy Buffett's song as possible. I check out my hot bod. I feel like I feel like Grayford is a is a learning kind of guy. I think that's the vibe here. I try to educate myself about the world around me. I'm like a sponge for knowledge, soaking up all of the intellectual content, you know, history, the paranormal, wilderness survival, uh, aliens, mostly those things. So you watch the Hin History Channel too, huh? Maybe I'm scared now. Yes. Yes. We're jogging now. Oh, God, we're jogging now. Craig likes the History Channel. That's awesome. I'm here for it. I love it. I look over to Craig, who hasn't even broken a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I am dying, and I can feel my life force draining through every orifice of my body. Hey, remember when my fish died in college? Uh... No, I don't like this story. <sighs> oh my god, he really is bumping up the speed again. I guess I'd better do it too. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. And uh, we were at that party and you vowed th to make me feel better. 
You tell me to create a distraction. So, of course, I had to do a sick keg stand and get everyone cheering. And then I uh, try to steal a fish from the fish tank at the party with my bare hands like an idiot. And then you drop the fish and it's flopping around and you panic. So you run up to me post keg standing with a dying dirty fish on your hands and scooped off the ground. And you're yelling at me that we have to leave. So we're running out of a frat party with a fish and trying to give it mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. We get him home and get him into a bowl of water, but the prognosis was grim. <laughs> Listening to this in the background, I am torn whether this is the way real people talk or some AI bot plucked this, these sentences at random. I think these sentences actually feel very natural. I like the dialogue of this game so much. The writers knew their stuff. And everything seems great. Anyway, compared to Shadows. Real lesbians TM. Yes. Oh my gosh. Also, where is my dream mommy game version of this? Thank you. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Has Game Grumps done that yet? Do you think do you think it would play well? Could be fun. But yeah, I would say this dialogue is way more natural than Vampire Shadows of New York. Because Shadows of New York was awful and the next day he's uh, alive and well they never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge U and they never uh, will I shoot off the end of the treadmill and crash into the wall Jesus that hurts dude bro are you okay Craig offers me a hand and looks me over for injuries I'm fantastic. I managed to stand up and rub my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. Oh, man. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call our gym adventure here. You sure? Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, here. I brought you this. Craig hands me a shaker bottle full of a thick green liquid. I stare at it with what must must be apparent distaste. Mm. It's a protein shake, bro. Oh, thank you. Me on a treadmill, yeah. Bro? Bro! Bro! <laughs> yes. He wants me to drink it. Oh, boy. Here goes. I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Wow, this is really good. And good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. 